Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to create a separate pagination module for our NestJS application. And we can inject this module to any other module like tweet, user, comments, etc., where we might want to use the pagination logic. So for that, let's go to VS Code. And in here, we have this common folder. So in this common folder, first, we want to create a module. So we want to create a module in the, let's say, pagination folder. So for that, let's open VS Code built-in terminal. And here, we want to generate the module in the common folder. So first of all, let's write npx nest command. We want to generate something. What do we want to generate? We want to generate a module and we want to generate it in common folder. In the common folder, we have the pagination folder. So in the pagination folder, we want to generate a module. If I press enter, it should generate a pagination module in the pagination folder. So you see in the pagination folder, it has created this pagination module.ts file and it has also updated the app module.ts file and there it has registered this pagination module. If I go to the common folder and in there, let's go to the pagination folder. So there you will see we have the pagination module.ts file. In the same way, we also want to generate a provider, a pagination provider in the pagination folder. So again, for that, we will say npx nest. We want to generate something. What do we want to generate? We want to generate a provider. We want to generate it in common folder inside the pagination folder. Okay, if I press enter and here, let's also use hyphen hyphen no hyphen spec because we don't want to generate a spec file for this provider. If I press enter, you will see in the pagination folder, a pagination.ts file has been created. So here we have the pagination folder. In the pagination folder, we have pagination.module.ts file and we have pagination.ts file. Okay, and instead of calling it as pagination.ts file, I am going to call it as pagination provider. So let me rename it and let's call it as pagination.provider.ts. Okay. And here also, let's call it as pagination provider. Now, a provider is very similar to a service. The only difference is since we want to inject this service into another service and it is going to provide some functionality, I'm calling it as provider instead of calling it as service. Okay. All right. Let me save this file. And now before we write any logic in this provider, let's also create an interface. And this interface will be responsible for adding a structure to all our paginated queries. So again, in the pagination folder, okay, I can see that we have an error in pagination module.ts and that's because it should be pagination provider. Okay, and here also it should be pagination provider. Let's see if the changes. All right, again, in the pagination folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it as paginated.interface.ts and inside this we are going to create and export an interface so here let's simply say export interface and we are going to call this interface as paginated okay now this interface we are going to use in order to tell the entity which is going to be paginated that it has to send a certain type of response now if you go to our slide for the paginated query, we want to send this type of response. In the response, we want to have the data property, which should be an array of all the query data. Then we should have a meta property where we should have some metadata like this, like item per page, total items, current page, total pages, etc. And we also want to have a links property, which is going to be an array and it is going to store all the required links, which can be useful in the UI. So for example, it should store the URL for the first page, the URL for the last page, for the current page, next page, previous page, etc. So this type of response should be sent from the paginated query. And our interface will define this structure. So let's go to our interface. And in this interface, first of all, we want to have a data property, which is going to be an array. We want to have a meta property, which is going to be an object. And then we want to have a 
links property which is again going to be an object now in this meta property we want items per page okay and this is going to be of type number we want total items this is also going to be of type number we want current page this is also going to be of type number and we also want total pages and this is also going to be of type number okay then in the links object what do we want we want the link for the first page this is going to be of type string we want the link for the last page this is also going to be of type string we want the link for the current page this is also going to be of type string we want link for the next page again it should be next and again it is also going to be of type string and we want the link for the previous page and this is also going to be of type string okay and here this data is going to be an array of an entity type now we are going to use this interface for all type of entities so we should be able to paginate let's say users tweets comments etc so let's say when we are paginating tweets at that time this data should be an array of tweets when we are paginating users then this data should be an array of type user and when we are paginating comments then this data should be an array of comments right so at the compile time we don't know what will be the type of this data array so here we are going to use a generic type and here we are going to use a placeholder called t and in order to use this t here we also need to make this interface as generic like this okay so this t can be anything this t can be tweets this t can be user this t can be comments etc and in this way our interface is ready and using this interface we are specifying how the response data for the pagination should look like now let's go back to our pagination provider and there let's go ahead and let's create a function so here i'm going to create a public async function and i'm going to call this function as paginate query okay this is an async function now for this paginate query we are going to take two parameters the first parameter will be the pagination query dto so here i am going to call it as pagination query dto and it is going to be of type pagination query dto okay so we need this dto for implementing the pagination and then we are also going to get the repository for the entity for which we are going to implement the pagination so if we want to implement the pagination for tweet then we want the tweet repository in this provider if we are going to implement the pagination for users we need the user repository in this provider and if we are going to implement the pagination for comments we need the comment repository in this provider okay so here i am simply going to call it as repository we don't know what type of repository we are going to get here and the type here should be repository and this repository is generic type and also in order to use it we need to import it from type orm and this is a generic type so here we can specify the type as t okay and since we are specifying here the type as t here also we need to use generic so here we can say t and then this t should extend object literal okay and it should be extends and to use this object literal we also need to import it from type orm now if you go to the definition of this object literal you will see that the object literal is just an interface for simple objects here this key represents a string value and the value for this key can be a value of any data type so this is just a simple object literal so once we have the pagination query dto and the required repository now we can go ahead and we can write the pagination logic inside this paginate query method and to write that pagination logic what i'm going to do is we have already written the pagination logic in the tweet module 
so let's go to tweet service.ts from here i'm simply going to copy this line let's go to pagination provider.ts and here let's paste that logic now here i'm going to remove these two things and here instead of tweet repository we are going to use this repository and here instead of page query dto we are going to use pagination query dto okay and let's close it here and here in order to access this repository we don't need to access it on this because it is a parameter to this function to this method and this is our pagination logic okay here we are going to skip some records and then we are going to take some records so this logic is same what we implemented in our last lecture for getting all the tweets now this relation we have already specified it in the tweet entity here we are defining a many to one relation with user and many to one relation with hashtag now what i'm going to do is here itself i am going to set this eager to true and same thing i am going to do for hashtag here also i am going to set this eager to true okay let's save the changes in this file and now let's go to let me close this tweet entity and let's go to tweet service and from here we can remove this relation part now we also need to think of how we are going to accept a where clause so in the pagination provider only what i am going to do is here let me also go ahead and let me specify another parameter let's call it where and this is going to be of type find options where okay and we need to import it from type orm and this is again going to be of type t and again this where is going to be optional okay because we don't want to pass the where condition for all the entities now let's save the changes here and now in the tweet service what we are going to do is instead of using tweet repository we want to use this pagination provider okay so this completes our pagination provider and this pagination query method now wherever we want to implement the pagination there we are going to call this paginate query method and when we are going to call this paginate query method we are going to pass the pagination query dto and the repository for the entity on which we want to implement the pagination and if we are using any where clause then we are also going to pass the where condition here okay so let's see how we can use this paginate query method of this pagination provider in order to implement pagination for tweet entity and user entity in our next lecture this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day